logical, you may not even believe it. ABC 15 investigator Lisa Fletcher discovered the government giving drug runners a free pass around the law. It's all about bringing in the right size drug load. If you know the rules, the chances of getting prosecuted are pretty slim. If you're caught with two pounds of pot that you plan to sell, plan on going to jail for up to seven years. 500 pounds, and you can kiss your freedom goodbye. To our right is the actual U.S.-Mexico border. But head down to southern Arizona, near the border. Do the exact same thing, and in many cases, you get off scot-free. No prosecution, no penalty, no prison. In fact, not even a slap on the hand. It's enormously frustrating. And enormously profitable. But this sweet deal only applies if you're illegal and smuggling 500 pounds or less. And therein lies one of our country's dirty little secrets. If a seizure is made of any amount less than 500 pounds, the case doesn't get prosecuted. You heard right. Drug runners committing crimes without consequence. But don't blame the county prosecutors. Remember, these are federal cases and should be federally prosecuted. But guess what? It doesn't get prosecuted by the feds. It doesn't get prosecuted by the feds. And now it doesn't get prosecuted by you either. Since 2003, we stopped prosecuting the federal referrals because of a lack of resources. Cochise County Attorney Ed Reinheimer handled about 150 federal cases a year involving up to $60 million worth of pot. But his county, like others, didn't have the money, prosecutors, jail space, or court-appointed attorneys to keep up with a federal referral literally every other day. When the marijuana ends up in a middle school in Lincoln, Nebraska, the reason that stuff ended up in Lincoln, Nebraska, was because the federal government is not prosecuting the cases on the border and allowing this stuff to get through. And while these weight limits are unfamiliar to most Americans, drug cartels know them well and plan accordingly. Sergeant Terry Parrish warehouses the seizures. How many of these guys do you think are aware of this sort of unspoken rule that if you've got less than 500 pounds, you're probably not going to get prosecuted? I think probably more of them are aware of it than individual officers are. Their intelligence is very good. It's what they do for a living. And they do it every night, all along Arizona's border. We're looking at 40 pounds. That's $32,000 right here. Smugglers dumped this load and took off when they saw Border Patrol. Not that it would have mattered. We were in Santa Cruz County, another border county that can't afford to handle the criminals the feds won't take. As a law enforcement officer, it makes me feel terrible. As a citizen in this country, it makes me feel terrible. It's hard to know how many drug runners are getting a free bus ride back to Mexico. No one seems to keep track. You're the top dog for federal mm -hmm. prosecution in this case. How do you justify to Arizona citizens that you're blowing off these 500, 400 pound loads of marijuana that are routinely coming into our state? It's easy. We don't have the money and the resources. And I can't grape that. I mean, it's got to come from Congress. Dan Knaus is the U.S. Attorney for Arizona. It's his office that should handle the cases now going unprosecuted. If they actually closed off the border and shut it down, we wouldn't have an issue. So are you screaming to D.C. about this? <laughs> they know. Even on top of the nation's pot pipeline, he says there's not much he can do. Do you have a choice? We have no choice. I, I have no, no people to handle the cases. What am I going to do? Prosecutors told us this weight limit isn't something that was ever talked about formally, but is well understood. You can hear a lot more of our conversation with U.S. Attorney Dan Knauss at ABC15.com. I'm Investigator Lisa Fletcher, ABC15 News, your Valley News Leader. Lisa.